Mr. Homemade Cannoli. You know I love you, but today it's all about the tiramisu, thanks to Dan Bavaro. Oh, hey, Dan. How are you, Virginia? What are we making today? Today we're making traditional tiramisu. See this Italian delight coming up in our next Chef's Kitchen. Stay with us. They started in Tampa, then they expanded to the Orlando area, and now you can get Bovaro's traditional Italian fare in St. Petersburg. Virginia Johnson helps create a delicious dessert of custard and coffee in today's Chef's Kitchen. Welcome to Bavaro's in St. Petersburg. This is Dan Bavaro, the owner of this Italian restaurant. What are we making today? Today we're making traditional tiramisu. Step one, blending egg yolks with mascarpone cheese. Once the two ingredients combine, we start mixing in the powdered sugar. Mix in slowly. What happens if you dump it in fast, it just flies? Just kind of clumps up, flies all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Once complete, this custard cools in the refrigerator. Step two is frothing the egg whites. Using a cold bowl, beat the egg whites until pillowy and add in powdered sugar, again slowly. Step three, carefully folding in the custard and the frothed egg whites. This step can make or break your cake if you don't maintain the integrity of the frothy air pockets. So now you make this cake that's supposed to be very foamy right and a nice consistent texture and now you have a liquidy texture step four time to build this layer cake again in a chilled dish spread an even layer of pillowy custard then the lady fingers two seconds one two you're going to feel it absorb all the espresso into the cookie and then you want to drain it out if you use too much espresso the cake won't hold firm and it'll just be too moist repeat these layers Top with the remainder of your pillowy custard, sprinkle evenly with cocoa powder, and refrigerate for 24 hours before serving. Amazing. Man, you're a good person. I'm Virginia Johnson. We'll see you next time in the Chef's Kitchen.